Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser, skilled on how are you, my dear learners. In this video, let me congratulate all my Indian viewers to winning the World Cup T20. Many, many congratulations. So let us talk about a very interesting video. And today I'm going to share how you can write a five page article and publish in a top Scopus index journal. I will share two examples and two important multidisciplinary journals where you can send your next article very quickly and get your Scopus publication. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, the first thing that we would like to know, sometimes we have the data. It may be a survey data, it may be a secondary data, or it may be a primary data. And now for a writing a full length article, we need a lot of things. For example, write introduction, long literature review, long methodology and long results and discussion and all that. And sometimes it, it takes six to seven thousand words article and in order to write such a large length of article, we need a lot of time. Sometimes it takes six months, seven months. And after writing that article, we may get rejected and we will be very depressed to not to see this article published in a good Scopus Index journal. But now there is two options with simple using your data you can easily publish to a very good journal. So let us talk about these two journals. First journal that I am going to talk about is called the Data in Brief. This is a Science Direct Elsevier journal. If you click this journal, you will go to the journal's directory. When it is, what is about this journal? This journal talks about Data in Brief is a multidisciplinary open access peer reviewed journal which mainly publishes short uh, data articles, describe and provide access to research data. In addition, it publishes review and prospective articles that elaborate on data sharing. Now there are two options in this journal. If you are looking for an open access or gold access option, if you choose that option, you have to pay an article processing fee $850. However, if you are choosing a subscription or traditional method, which means you do not choose the open access option, in that case, you can submit your article and publish it without paying a single money. So there will be no article processing charges if you choose the option of subscription method, not to choose the open access method. So there are two options. So two way you can get your publication very quickly. So let us talk about this Elsevier journal. One of their article which I was reading recently is called the data set for understanding why people share their travel experiences on social media structural equation model analysis. SEM analysis is one of the important methodology and I will talk about this methodology in my couple of upcoming videos. However, this data driven article can give you an idea how to write a five page article for an Elsevier journal. Okay. Now this journal as you can see the pages are only five and if you go down and you will see it's very quick. It received the article in 2019 December, revised at March 2020 and accepted in 11th March 2020. So it's very very fast within three to four months time you get your publication okay now after writing the abstract what you can do is specify your table for example what is the subject matter subject area what type of data you are talking about and how your data are acquired whether it is a survey data or primary data or a secondary data you mention those things data format description of the data collection and data source and location so that table should come first after that you write value of the data. So using that data set, what kind of value you are actually contributing to the research community. For instance, it says the data set is useful because it can be used as a reference for understanding why people share their travel experiences on social media or not. So there are four values they have articulated in this article. So if I were in your shoes, I will go and find out what type of value I can create using this data set which I have. After the value of the data set, you just write about the data file and describe what type of data you have. Maybe you can 
give a descript descriptive data analysis and that will give an idea about your data set and you can then write a table the data file items for example what type of variables and naming of the variables they are short form you can do that the second table will do the same and then you go for a correlation analysis or any other analysis that you are going to apply in the case of same analysis you can design with the experimental design materials and method in the section number two after data description you can draw the attention of giving only the results not to write in detail everything now in a structural equation modeling we have a something like this a path model you can draw the path model and after that you discuss something about the path model and that's it it will be completely finished now your data set your extra literature review if you want and your raw data file as well as if you have some supplementary information you can always use osf data website where you can store all those things and give a link on this so supplementary material under that you can easily give the link so after that you write few references so with that five page database paper can actually publish in a lcvr journal like data in brief so you can try next article using your data set it may be engineering it may be social science it may be biological science life science medicine whoever is working in whatever subjects this is an interesting journal to publish a very good article quickly the next one i'm going to talk about if i go back this is called the scientific data this is also a web of science scopus index journal and this scientific journal if you go to the about the journal journal information you will see scientific data is a peer reviewed open access journal for description of data sets and research that advances the sharing and reuse of scientific data so it is actually data driven journal so scientific data welcomes submission from all areas of natural science medicine engineering and social sciences so it's a multidisciplinary journal now one of the article from this particular journal which i have downloaded here you can see embodied carbon dioxide emission of equity portfolio for chinese asset managers so first you have to describe its case a data descriptor article first you write an abstract then background and summary a little bit not too much and then directly go to the methods and when you write the methods whether you are applying accounting scope or business or life science whatever method you are discussing you can write down here then briefly write about data sources then any type of calculation if you have add it and then results put the value in the tabular form and the category of the variables discuss those things as well and then gradually you go down and write the technical validation of your results and discussion give some figures and articles devils and all those things and that's it it will come down to the five or six page article you can see only six page article without the references and you can see here that it is also a very fast journal this journal accepted in 2023 uh, the receipt of the article and accepted in april 2024 so it may be three to four months time that you finish your article writing and get your publication in a scopus index journal so in this video my intention is to share the two important journal where you can use your data set only to write a quick five page or six page research article submit in these two particular journal get your publication quickly and i hope you can improve your research career quickly by doing this publication in these two particular journal so i hope this video is useful for you and i'll see you in the next tutorial with more interesting information about scopus publication technique methodologies i will be joining you very soon and i hope you keep in touch with me thank you so much my dear learners i'll see you next tutorial Bye-bye.